So today we're going to talk about transport and setup of a spring wound wall clock. So first thing you want to do with all clocks really is take the pendulum off. Just take it off the hook at the very top. Just like that. Now it's going to run very quickly because it doesn't have the weight of the pendulum to regulate it. Um, it will also strike during transport. Anytime you hit a bump, it can lift the levers and it may strike. You just need to make sure that when you transport it, you have the head above the foot of the clock. It can be lying on its back, just so long as the, the top of it is higher than the bottom. So when you're ready to set up your wall clock, you want to find a space on the wall that is not near any doors or windows. Any vibrations in the wall will affect the swing of the pendulum, and thus the timekeeping of the clock. It can completely stop it as well. Um, once you've found your spot, you want to use a nice secure screw. We prefer the pan head types because they will hold the clock nice and flush against the wall. Once you've got it hung up on your screw, you want to level it. So you want to level it. Make sure the front is nice and level. See the level. Mm. <laughs> okay. So once you have it leveled, you want to secure it. On this clock, we have a screw just braced against the side. This is the side opposite the hinge. So when the door is open, the weight of the door pushes it into that screw instead of away from it. Um, some clocks have a hole somewhere in the back that are designed to have a screw in there. Um, and some clocks have a little flange on either side to put a screw through. If they don't have that, you just make sure you find a spot opposite the hinge to make sure it can't shift every time you open the door or every time you try to wind the clock. That's very important to keep it level. So once you have it level on the wall, you can hang your pendulum back up. So it is running like crazy, so you will need to stop the leader just by putting your fingers against the back of it. And then you hook the pendulum on. Make sure it's fully hooked. This one does have a pin that goes into the pendulum to keep it straight. And then you can get it started. So winding this clock. Same with any other type of spring wound clock. You want to wind it all the way so you cannot turn it any further. That is as far as that one will go. If the hand is in the way, just give it a push. I've got the hour hand in the way as well, so I'm going to have to run around a bit. Don't be timid about winding your clock. You're going to break your key before you hurt the clock. My key at home, the wings are actually bent on it from winding my clock. So once you've got it wound, you can set the time. Now this is a German make and I've actually gone past the real time. So I'm going to just back it up. Now that's okay to do on this type of clock, not an American clock. We will do a video later on about the differences and, and why. Um, but I'm going to back it up to the correct time. And there we are. So it's all set and ready to go.